Hey everyone, Damali here. Welcome to my channel where we talk about tech and lifestyle. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of sweet programming and I will be teaching you all about arrays. Whether you're a beginner or just need a refresher, stick around to master this essential concept. All right. In the previous lessons, we were able to talk about variables and constants. And in this lesson, we're going to be talking about array. What is an array? Imagine you have a bookshelf. On this bookshelf, you can only place books of the same series. For instance, you might have all the Harry Potter books line up in order from the first book to the last book. In Swift, this bookshelf is like an array. The array keeps items in a specific order. And each item has its position of the cell. So if you have the position, you can easily find the book you want. So let's try with an example. So let's open our playground and let's name this playground an array and so if we run it you can see all oh, it been run here and then uh, so the book philosopher's stone is the first position and uh, the chamber of uh, secret is the second position and so on uh, if you get a new book of the series you can add it to the end of the shelf or at the end of the array uh, if you lend one to a friend you can remove it from the shelf or the array so if a simpler words you an array in swift is like a digital bookshelf where you keep a series of books in a specific order and so that's it for arrays let's get into more examples so another example will be let's say let's call this let's say Mike so let's say another example will be Mike Joe and Molly and uh, if we go ahead and run it you'll be able to see Mike Joe and Molly right here let's try another example with integers And if we go ahead and run it, you can see it here. Another thing I would like to mention is in Swift, um, if we wanted to count, we start counting from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that's how we count it. So the position here is 0, and then the position here is 1, 2, 3. So that's how we count it in that. So now let me walk you guys through another concept, which is the um, getting values. okay so how do we get that from our arrays we can let me start by saying let's say So let's say we're trying to get this value that will say um, let my uh, we're trying to get um, so getting values from our array. So let's say uh, let's declare a variable. Let's say let message is because my name is and we're referencing uh, array string. So I want to what well, I'm trying to say is my name is Damali. So how can we do that? And in able to do that, Damali here is showing index number two because. The first one is considered index number zero. It means the variable is being stored in index number zero. And this is index number one. And uh, this is index number two. So when I wanted to get this, my name is Dwali, all I have to do is to put reference the index number two. So when I run it, you'll be able to see my name is Dwali here. Another thing that I, I would like to work you guys through also is we can say let So if let's say I wanted to call uh, for Joe, it's going to be array number. So the index number is going to be 0, 1, so it's going to be also 1. And uh, if I close it and then if I go ahead and run it, 
you'll be able to see Joe here. So that's how we get values in array. Another thing that I would like you guys to know is we can, another thing we can do, let's try with integer. So we can say let So the dot last here is all I'm just trying to say is the last value, which is the seven. So let age be equals to seven. So if we run it, you'll be able to see the sevens here. And then another thing that we can also say is we can say let So another thing that I wanted to say, so let message equals so I am so so and so eight years old. And uh, as you can see, we get in another order and the error that we get in is a string interpolation produce a debug description for an optional value. Did you mean to make this explicit? So yes, if I want to make it, I will just add a, uh, go ahead and add the exclamation mark here. So we need it to be completed. So that's seven, the last number is seven. So then if I go ahead and uh, run it, it will tell you I am seven years old. So that's how we do. So what if we want to add values to our index or add a string or an integer into our, our array? How do we do it? Let's try it. So now, as you see, if we go ahead and add append it, so we're going to be array int and then append 88. And uh, if you go ahead and see, if we run it, as we run it, you go ahead and see the 88 here. Append just simply means we're adding it to the last value. What if we want to uh, add it into the beginning? We will go ahead and do it this way. Let me go ahead. Okay, so let's try for this is an integer. Let's try for a string first before we uh, go ahead and try inserting in a different uh, index. Okay, so let's say we want to add James before Joe. How do we do it? So as you can see, we say array string uh, dot insert James at index one. So the index here is zero one. So that makes it Mike, James, Joe, before Dumali. And similarly, we can do it for an integer to let's say we want to add 30 at before the three. So we will know that the index is going to be zero, one, two zero one two so it's going to be in this two so if we want to add that it's going to be array because it's an integer so array ins dot insert thirty at at what index are we looking at so let's say zero one zero one two so two at index two and if we run it you will see the 30 before the three so that's how we add values onto the array if we want to um change a value let's say we want to change this to to let's say five how do we do it so So as you can see, so as you can see, we wanted to change this two to five. So this two is an index number um, once because this is zero one. And then, so if we run it, you will see it's been changed to five. And if we go ahead and run it, array int, You will see zero, uh, you will see one, five, thirty, and then so on and so on. That's what we added. 
and then we can go ahead and do the same for st string so we can say array So let's say array string Jane. Let's say we want to add Jane to the string. Let's say uh, Jane before Mike. So that will be a string of zero. So let's go ahead and put, uh, sorry, an index of zero. So if we're going to put zero and if we run it, you see the Jane here. So how do we see the results? So if we go ahead and array string, and then if we call it and run it, you will be able to see Jane before James and so on and so on and so on so that's how we add uh, um that's how we change values as well and then uh, how do we remove values so let's say we wanted to remove the last integer uh, and then how do we remove it in order for us to remove it we can say array int dot remove So array int dot remove last and if we run it it will remove the 88 that we added to the array so and if we call it back uh, our array You see it's been the 88 being removed right there. So that's how we remove value. That's it for Aries. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this.